Hey, what's going on, Gemini's? Butch Tarot here. I'm going to do your December read. It is a general read, so it may not resonate with everyone. Uh, it is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. For all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. And with all that being said, we are going to be using uh, Tarot of Dreams, which is one of my favorite decks. Um, I actually. I watched uh, Ramblin' Mike, big fan. Uh, he uses it a lot, so I got it and I really enjoyed it. So, shout out to you, Ramblin' Mike. With that being said, let's get it. Universe, what do we have for Gemini's? What's going on for Gemini's? December 2021. All right, Gemini's. The first thing I see, Gemini's, is you're gonna have some choices to make. I do see there being multiple options for you. Um, you know, with that Seven of Cups, I feel like there's gonna be some options for you. And I feel like it's gonna be very crucial to pay attention to these options. You know, be very thorough. Um, the first one we're gonna talk about, I, I feel like I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this first person because I don't really like the energy. Uh, I'm all about the love. I want, you know, we're looking into stuff that is going to help you in your future. Uh, and, and what I see with this person, there's a lot of player energy. You know, I feel like this person is, is it, they're more of a chaser. You know, we have that Ace, that, that Aries energy, the Queen of Wands, and we have that Sagittarius energy in reverse. Uh, very flirtatious. Um, you know, they want what they want. I, I, I feel like with this person, I feel like, you know, when you're not giving them what they want, I feel like there is going to be a lot of, you know, hot and cold energy with this person. I feel like it's solely because they're not on the same page. They're not looking for anything important. They're not looking for anything serious. They're not looking for anything with, with depth. You know, I, I, I feel like what they want and what you want are two different things. You know, they're looking for a part-time lover. They're looking for somebody to fill the void. Um, you know, I feel like there's a lot of physical attraction. And I feel like it is going to be hard to really pick up on this in the beginning. But I feel like as we go on, the less attention you give this person, they go cold on you. Then they come back because they're, they're still trying to win. You know, I feel like this person doesn't like the thought of losing. And I feel like this person will continuously try to come at you. But like I said, I... I, I, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on that person. I'm not getting a lot of their energy. You know, I'm just seeing there is a lot of fire. There is a lot of passion. There's a lot of physical attraction, but I feel like in the, in the end of the day, they're not looking to build anything. They're not looking to, you know, have anything long-term. They're just looking to, you know, put another notch on their, uh, on their belt. You know, it's more of a physical connection with no real, no real substance. Now, when it comes to this other person, I feel like this other person is someone that you already know. And I feel like this is something that I feel like it, even though the energy is there, I feel like there's already been a foundation starting with this person. I feel like there's never really been, it's never really been spoken about. I, I, I feel like you have a great connection with this person. I feel like, you know, you have a lot of trust built with this person, but I feel like there's never really been, it's never really taken that next step. You know, I feel like this person does, they hide their feelings from you. You know, I feel like this person has a lot of love for you. And, and I feel like even though they're hiding it from you, I feel like they're also hiding it from themselves because I feel like 
they they feel like you're better than them. They feel like they don't deserve you. So it's almost like they've convinced themselves of that. And that's why they haven't taken that next step. Now, in the everyday life, this person's a very confident person. I think that's what you like the most about this person. You know, is that fiery energy this person has. Very confident, very sure of themselves, very sure of what they're doing. But when it comes to love, this person is the opposite of that. You know, I feel like this person has a lot of love for you. You know, we have that lover's card. And I feel like it goes both ways, but I feel like it's never really been explored. So I feel like this, com what's coming up will surprise you. I feel like this person's going through a lot of changes, a lot of big changes, and it's making things, they're starting to prioritize things in their life and they realize how important you are to them. And I feel like it might have something to do with this other person coming in. But I feel like this person holds your, your feelings and you as a priority. And the more they realize how how much you mean to them, the more this person starts to come out of their shell and realize that, you know, it's now or never type energy going on here because I feel like this person wants to be with you. You know, they're very happy with you and I feel like you're happy with them, but I feel like there's so much more to be exposed here. I feel like there's, this person hasn't really been putting in the work and it's not because they don't care. You know, they haven't put in, put into the work, but it, like I said, it's not because they don't care. It's because they care too much. And I know a lot of people will be like, that just doesn't make any sense. And sometimes it doesn't. Uh, but what I see is this person really truly loves you. And this is something much deeper than I feel like either one of you were really ready for. You know, I see a lot of sleepless nights. This person uh, that's been in, been in your life, I feel like they're very guarded. I feel like, and we also have the nine of wands as well. I mean, very guarded sleepless nights, very defensive energy. Like this person has so much to tell you, but I feel like as of yet, they haven't really come forward. But like I said, with those big changes coming, I feel like things are really going to start to change. I feel like this person is finally going to take that leap of faith. You know, and I feel like when they take that leap of faith and they communicate how they truly feel about you, I feel like you're both going to find balance in the situation. You know, I feel like you've both been out of balance. And I feel like the reason why is because this was supposed to be more. There's something definitely more about this that we never really exposed. You know, we can be around the right person for a lot longer than we think. You know, the, per the right person can be in your life right now. And some people don't see it because they never explored it. But like I said, I do see that communication coming. And I do feel once that communication comes, you're going to start finding more balance. You know, things are going to start working a little bit better. I feel like you're going to find a lot of happiness we do see a lot of forward movement here as well, finally moving forward. Because I feel like when we when we ignore how we feel about someone and we 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 try to pretend like we downplay it and try to pretend like it doesn't exist, I feel like all we're doing is slapping the universe in the face. It's giving you a gift. The gift has always been there. The foundation has already been started. But until we actually talk it out and actually we explore our feelings, we're just... You know, we're not going to be happy until we expose it, until we, you know, embrace it. And like I said, these big changes coming and this person finally stepping up and making that offer is going to be the catalyst to make this move forward. And I see a lot of forward movement. Like I said, I see a lot of happiness. You know, there's a very bright future for the two of you. And I feel like, I just feel like you weren't, you weren't able to be this open. And the moment you are able to be open with each other is when we're going to move forward. We're going to have a big leap. And I feel like this other person that we talked about in the beginning, I feel like that may be just the kick in the pants that this, this other person needed. You know, seeing somebody else get all googly-eyed over you. It's really going to get this person's, you know, it's really going to get this person going. And I feel like it's almost like this person played a bigger role than they expected but not the role they, but they, not the role they wanted. You know, it's it's gonna make this other person a little bit jealous, and I feel like that's when they're finally gonna step up. And that jealousy. I mean, I, I'm not a big fan of jealousy, but I feel, I feel like a little jealousy is all right. I feel like it's gonna help you help you move forward, the person you were meant to move forward with. You know, I feel like this person is very very guarded, and I feel like they have a hard time 
telling you how they truly feel. But like I said, I feel like this is going to be that catalyst. I mean, this is someone, there's a lot of passion, there's a lot of fire energy, and I feel like a lot of it was confused in the beginning. I feel like they did have a crush, and I feel like it developed into something more. They they did, they did they were physically attracted to you, and I feel like, you know, the more they spent time around you, the more they got to know you, it only made them want you more. You know, I feel like there is a part of them that felt like they didn't deserve you, or they, they weren't enough for you, or maybe that you weren't interested. You know, there's multiple reasons why this person's been keeping their mouth shut, but they're not going to keep their mouth shut any longer. You know, they can't hold back. And they won't hold back. And you're going to get the true side of this person. And I feel like it's something you always knew was there. But them exposing it, I feel like it's really going to, you know, it, it's going to make things hot. <laughs> In a very good way. You know, this person wants to be next to you. And I feel like they were taking it any way they could, but now they just want, you know, they don't want to hold back anymore. They don't want to, they don't want anybody else to see what they see. Now with this other person, you know, like I said, there's just a lot of fiery energy. You know, there's a lot of that, that first person is a lot of, a lot of player energy, a lot of fiery energy. We got Leo or, you know, we got Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, we got, Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. We have some Scorpio as well. Um, but this other person that we really want to focus on, you know, there's a lot of fire in them as well. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. You know, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Um, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. You know, the fun thing is, thing I like about it is the most is like it's funny how the world works I mean sometimes we feel like we're always looking for that person and sometimes that person is a lot closer than we think they are and I feel like this will catch you off it will catch you by surprise but I feel like as it plays out it'll be less and less of a surprise you know I, I, I feel like once this person tells you exactly how they feel and what they want from you I feel like it's going to First, it's going to come as a shock, but then it's just going to make sense. You know, I feel like they were always there. And sometimes it takes a third party to ignite something that was always there. And I mean, it's sad, but, you know, not every love story starts in the same way. You know, and 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 the problem with with movies today is it all seems like it is the same thing, but... I mean, love stories start in many different ways. It starts off in the craziest way sometimes, but that's what I have for you. Be good, take care, stay safe, and have a happy holiday. Hope you guys all enjoy yourselves and uh, spend lots of time with people you love. See you soon.